Today, I'm going to be making a quilt jacket. Now, I'm very excited for this project because I have been looking for a quilt for quite some time and I found this one at a thrift store. I can't remember. It might've been $5. I think it was $5 and it's a really lovely quilt. I don't think it's vintage or anything, but still it's really pretty and I love that it's pink and I love the colors and it's cream and it's just perfect. So I'm going to be making a quilt jacket and then I'm going to see how much fabric I had left over because I really have no idea how much fabric this jacket is going to take up and then I might make like a little matching vest out of it. The rest of it, if there's enough, which I think there should be. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But for right now, I'm going to be using this pattern. And this is just kind of an ugly pattern, to be honest. Uh, the way they made them, not very pretty, but I'm going to be following this one, basically. And I'm going to probably have to shorten it a little bit. And then, so I kind of want it to, not cropped, but also not long either. And then I'm going to do the collar and the big pockets and the buttons, and I am very excited. So when I'm cutting this out, I'm going to try to use the fabric or the quilt to the best of my advantage and try to not only be efficient with how I'm placing things out so I use the least amount of fabric up as possible, but I also wanna make sure that I'm using the binding for my edges of the jacket as much as I can. And then I think for the inside, I'm probably just going to serge everything together because that sounds simple and that's what I want this project to be. I want it to be simple and fun and delightful. So here we go. Okay, so I think if I cut this just right, I could have enough to make the jacket and a pair of overalls because this pants pattern is ridiculously long. I do not need it to be that long. I don't even mind, honestly mind if they're a little cropped if I smoosh the jacket as much as possible, which I really don't have to smoosh it that much. I think I can make overalls out of these too, which was kind of what I was hoping for, but I didn't think it was going to be possible. It'd be like just squeaking it out, but I think it could work. Okay, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to be working on the pockets and getting those sewn on. And I already did one and it turned out actually pretty well. So what I did is because I had all the raw edges, like this one, is I just unpicked the quilting seams and then flipped this on this side and then sewed it right sides together and then flipped it back inside out. And it turned out pretty well. It is a little bit wonky, which I could go in and fix it. And I think I will, but I haven't decided if I wanna use this side on the outside or this side. So, oh, and if I do use this side, I'll probably fix it. But if I use this side, I'll just leave it because it kind of makes it so you can't really see the white. But anyway, I'm going to do the same exact thing to this one, but do it so I don't have the problem that this one has with like it kind of being funky. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And then I will start attaching them to the front of the jacket. Okay, so as you can see by my change of outfit, it's been a couple days since I've worked on this project because I got busy and didn't have time. But today, I think I can actually finish this. And I know I end up saying that a lot when I'm working on these projects, but I think I can actually finish this one today because all that's really left is just assembling a few things because I have to attach these to the back and then the sleeves and then the collar and that's it and I'm just going to serge all the edges so there's not really any difficult finishing oh the one thing that I didn't think of is 
buttons because I want this to close with buttons. That's the one thing that could set me back a little bit, but really shouldn't take too long. Hopefully. I always say this, but then it takes way longer than I think it's going to. Besides the buttons, I can get this done today. I'm going to. That's what I'm telling myself. I'm going to get this done today. So then tomorrow I can work on the overalls, which I am so excited about. I'm so glad that there's enough fabric. I was really hoping that there would be enough and to do both because I was kind of hemming and hawing for a while over which one to do, but I'm so glad that there's enough to do both. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and get back to work so I can finish. I'm just so excited to wear this and it's like the perfect weather to wear this because it's sunny it is starting to be springtime, so it's not freezing anymore. So I just need to make this so I can wear it. I'm so excited to wear it. Okay, back to work, lady. Okay. It's definitely a little large. So I'm just gonna take in the sides quite a bit and trim this down a little bit because it is gonna overlap because of the buttons. But still, that is like hanging. That's just too large. Too large for me, so I'm gonna fix it real quick. Okay, this is much better. Still a little big, but I think it's good because I do want it to be oversized. I'll be able to tell best once I have the sleeves on how I like it, but I think this is much better. This is so cute. I'm so excited. So after I was satisfied with the way that the jacket was fitting, I just cut off the extra fabric inside and then undid the basting stitches so then I could start attaching the sleeves. So about halfway through sewing the jacket, I realized that it would be so much easier to get all of this fabric through the serger if it wasn't so thick. So what I ended up doing was cutting out the batting out of each of the seams and this just made it so much easier to serge. It did add a lot more time but it ended up being worth it because after I did this I didn't break any more needles and the process was just a little bit smoother. Okay I have it on. I'm not gonna move the camera so you can see the rest of it because that'd be spoilers but it's so delightful. It's a little bit large still, but I'm just gonna leave it. And it's freezing down here in the basement, and I already feel warmer wearing this, and I've been wearing it for like two minutes, so that is delightful. So next, I'm going to sew on the collar, which will look something like this, I believe, and oh, that's gonna be cute. Cute. So after the collar was attached, I made a little binding to go over the raw edges out of some of the quilt lining. I tried to sew the binding on completely by machine, but I didn't end up liking the way that it was looking. So instead, I just hand sewed the inner edge and it looked really nice and I was really happy with how it turned out. 
I also hand sewed the buttons with embroidery thread and hand sewed the buttons on as well. Hello, so as you can see, I am not at my house, house sitting for the week with a doggy, which you'll probably hear in the background. Teddy, come here. This little doggy. So yeah, but now I finally have time to start working back on this project again, and I'm very excited about it because I just want to finish and yeah. Anyway, I don't remember exactly what I explained before, but for the overalls, what I'm going to do is take this pants pattern and I'm just going to use this and then kind of make up a shape for the top part of the overalls. And I kind of want them to be exactly like the overalls I'm wearing. So as you can see, they are pretty basic overalls. I want to have like a square rectangle for the front. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything on the back. I might just do like straps. And then I'd like to have buttons on the side, like overalls too. And if there's enough fabric left over, I'll do pockets. If not, I'm not gonna worry about it. I have, I think just, just the right amount of fabric. I'm going to probably have to like squeak this out, but I'm just gonna have to start going and see what happens. The only thing about this pattern that I might change is that they have pleats in the front to gather it. And instead of pleats, I might just make it into a dart just because this fabric is obviously really thick because it's like... <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, I think I might turn this pleat into a dart instead just because the fabric is really thick and then I can just do this and serge it and then I will have like a whole bunch of fabric all pleated up plus I don't really think it'll pleat that well anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to start cutting things out and figuring out the top portion. I'm pr probably just gonna eyeball it and I'm not that worried about it not being perfect because it's just gonna be a rectangle with straps. Okay, I go. So now I have my pieces cut out and all of the darts pinned out. So I'm just going to start sewing those together and then I will start assembling the pant pieces together.
Okay, so I finally have my two pants panels hit pieces. I don't know what you call them. Two legs of my pants all sewn up and serged, which literally took like forever and a half because A, I, it just takes longer to sew because it's so slow. B, I tore all the batting out of the seam so it'd be easier to serge. And C, because my serger just does not like going through this, so I had to keep, it kept, the threads kept snapping and I had to re-thread it a whole bunch of times. Anyway, they're done. And so now I'm just going to sew them together at the crotch seam, and then I'll start, be able to start figuring out the top of my overalls, which I, that's the part I'm excited for. So I have the pants all sewn up, and Teddy's about to lose his mind again. Anyway, I have the pants all sewn up. I just need to figure out what exactly I want to do. So I tried these on and they fit pretty much exactly how I want them to. The only thing is that there's, originally we're supposed to have, like these are waistband pieces. So it'd be like another, however wide this is, like inch and a half or so taller on top of that. And that would just be like too high for me. So I think, I'm just going to get rid of the waistband and I'll probably end up using these as my straps, hopefully. Like, yeah, I think that could probably work. But so now I just need to figure out how to make the top like bodice portion. Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. So what I think I'm gonna do is, cause I, like I said before, I wanted to fit like how these do. So I think I'm just going to trace this piece. And then for the back, I'll probably just do something like the exact same piece, but maybe a little thinner, not so wide. And I'll just figure it out as I go, I guess. I'm not, still not like exactly sure what I'm doing, but also it's just gonna be two rectangles basically four if you count each one of the straps, so I'm not that worried about it. So off I go. After about literally forever and a half of messing around with these overalls trying to find the right shape, I ended up with a sort of rectangle trapezoidal kind of shape. I don't know if that's the right word. And instead of actually sewing that all on and sewing it together, I instead decided to just sew on the pockets and call it a day because I just had had enough after doing all of this. So a couple days later with fresh eyeballs, I came back to this project and started working on the binding for the little side openings on the pants part of this. And I just did the same thing that I did for the collar portion of the jacket and I just took a little piece of fabric and folded it over twice and then it pinned and sewed that onto my little openings. And then finally, I started working on the top portion of the overalls, and for that, I just did the exact same method that I've been using by unpicking the quilting seams and flipping the fabric right sides together and sewing around it and then flipping it back out so all the rail edges are encased. There we go, back, front. And after that, I attached the front and back pieces to the front and back of the pants. So they're basically done. So now all I have to, list to do is just the straps and then the buttons. And for the straps, what I'm gonna do is just do my, so I think I'm just going to do my same old, like take one piece of the fabric off, re-sew it on so all the raw edges are enclosed. And then I think I'm just gonna sew it onto the back piece, try them on, 
figure out where I wanted the front. And I was thinking about maybe doing buttons on the straps too, just so it's easier to get on and off. And yeah, after that, we're basically done. Okay, so my straps are done, but I'm going to fit them and finish up everything else at home because I gotta leave this house. And yeah, so I'm probably gonna just do all the finishing off camera and I will see you in the big review. Hello, so yes, everything's done. And I'm pretty happy with all how it all turned out. I kind of wasn't feeling it about the overalls and now that I've had them on and taken a few pictures and videos, I'm like, yeah, these are really cute. And I do really like them. I like the way that the pattern turned out and I really like how they look with this blouse. I just, I was thinking about it and I think I would like them a lot more if they weren't made out of a quilt and I could wear them as more of like a summer thing, but they are really warm and comfy. Like they're super comfy, I love that. It's just, I don't know, there's just something that's not, wasn't terribly exciting for me about them. And I don't really know exactly what. I just think because they're a quilt, I don't want to wear them. And they're kind of like on the edge of something I don't really want to wear in public, even though they are really cute and I like the way that they look. I'm just not sure. It kind of goes the same for the jacket, but I really like the jacket. I think the jacket is my favorite, and I think I will actually wear the jacket out just because it's a jacket, so it's kind of seems okay in my mind that that's more unique rather than overalls. I am really glad that I did this project. It definitely tickled an itch for me, for sure. I would like to experiment more with quilted fabric in the future, and I think it'd be really cool to make my own quilted fabric rather than just harvesting an already made already quilted fabric from a quilt. So yeah, overall, I enjoyed this project. I kind of didn't turn out exactly how I was hoping, even though the items turned out exactly how I was hoping. It just like the feelings about the items didn't turn out exactly as I was hoping. But overall, it was good. I would say my main complaint was my serger was just a poop for this. And I think if I were to do it again in the future, I should just take the time to bind all of the seams instead of serging them. Yeah, and then it also, I think I'm less excited about it now just because the project, I worked on it like over a month because things just kept getting in the way. Like my phone camera broke and then I was busy and then I got distracted with other projects. So yeah, overall good feelings, but slightly like eh feelings, but. So yes, thank you for watching and I hope you like the way that things turned out and I hope we gave you some pointers perhaps, or at least it was entertaining. So goodbye.